Uh, Lieutenant Governor Cagle called a meeting with me at 8 a.m. this morning, an hour prior to the caucus meeting, where he told me the decision had been made and this was the decision. He actually asked me to resign and to issue a statement of apology, and I told him that I would not do that. The Senate had its toughest vote of the year week before last when right before the spring break it approved the hospital provider fee bill. That was not without controversy. Two Republican chairs refused to vote for the bill along with uh, Whip Mitch Seabaugh who resigned his position in protest. And this morning the two chairs were stripped of their position in the Senate caucus meeting and in the Senate session later in the day tensions quickly rose to the surface. It doesn't matter what party you're in or what issue you're talking about. It doesn't even matter about the merits of the bill that everyone is bannering back and forth. What matters is that we have the right to represent our constituents. And that should never be taken away from us. And if we're threatened uh, and, and told that if we don't vote a certain way, we're going to lose a chairmanship, uh, then there's a deeper problem uh, in the system that needs to be corrected. And actually, you know, that happened and it was carried out today. So, I, you know, I, I'm calling out for people to be different. Uh, to have a form of government that respects different viewpoints and allows for people to vote what they believe they should for their constituents and, and not to be punished by that and cajoled into voting for something different. It's highly unusual for a ranking member to take the well of the Senate to criticize his party's leadership, but that's exactly what Preston Smith did today. Now it seems like the current leaders are less concerned about who they believe may be some kind of political prostitute rather than that who they view as the pimp. And that is a real tragedy. When I ran for office, several of those very same recruiters encouraged me to make a pledge to my constituents that I would be a different kind of senator, that I would come down to Atlanta and not raise taxes and increase spending, but would vote to make government smaller and reduce taxes. It's the principle of a senator has a constitutional right to vote for his conscience and the conviction that he feels like he should, and that should never be taken away from him or her.